In this exercise, we'll complete the third item in our programming to-do list, switching the app from portrait to landscape mode. Portrait mode is when your iPhone is upright, like this. Landscape is when you tilt the app to its side. You can make your app work in either or both of these orientations. For Bullseye, we're going to make the app work on landscape only because the game looks a lot better that way. But before we do this, I wanted to take a break and explain how screen dimensions work on iOS. On iOS, screen dimensions are measured in terms of points. For example, on iPhone SE, you have 320 points horizontally and 568 points vertically. For landscape, these dimensions are switched. But what is a point? Well, on older devices, like the iPhone 3 or an earlier iPad, it was very simple. One point equals one pixel. And hopefully you know what a pixel is. It's the smallest unit visible on a screen. And the more pixels you have, generally, the better the image looks. Later on, Apple came out with newer devices. And for every point, they had two pixels. That means the screen had higher resolution and the images looked a whole lot better. In fact, on some of the Plus devices, it's even crazier with three pixels per point. It's not only the number of pixels per point that varies between the various iPhone models. Over the years, iOS devices have introduced various different form factors as well. The form factor of the device determines the width and height of the device and points, as you can see in this handy chart here. In the early days of iOS, there was only one screen size, so it was nice and easy. But those days are over, and now we have to deal with a variety of different screen sizes. Remember that in iOS development, you work with points instead of pixels. So you only need to worry about the differences of the screen sizes in terms of points. The actual number of pixels is generally only important to graphic designers, because images are still made in pixels. Here's a handy rule of thumb. Developers generally work in points, and designers generally work in pixels. For the time being, to keep things simple, Bullseye is only going to support one screen size, the iPhone SE, which again is 320 by 568 points. Later on in this course, you'll learn how to make the app support other screen sizes as well. First things first, if you completed the challenge from earlier with the knock-knock joke, you still have this knock-knock button on the screen. Well, we don't want this anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Then I'm going to go to the view controller dot swift, and I'm going to delete that batch of code there too. Make sure that it looks like this, where you have two curly parentheses at the end. Okay, so now we want to switch our app to use landscape mode. And the first thing we want to do to do this is down where it says view as, click that to bring up that pane. And you'll see here that there's two different orientations you can preview your app as. Right now we're in portrait, so click the button for landscape. Now, as it's resized this app, our button is now placed in an incorrect spot. So find that button and drag it right back to the middle where it's supposed to be. We can test this out by building and running. And you can see that it doesn't look quite right. However, if you flip the simulator, which you can do with hardware orientation, landscape right, then now it looks correct. Now you have to tell iOS what orientations your app supports to avoid the strange issue that occurred earlier of it not looking right in portrait mode. So to do that, let's stop the app and click on bullseye at the top of your project navigator. And this brings up all of your project settings. And we wanna make sure that the bullseye target is selected. And down in this deployment info section, there's some checkboxes for the orientations your app supports. We're gonna learn how to support all kinds of orientations later on in this course, but for right now, we're only supporting landscape. So make sure that portrait is not selected and then run it again. Now it works properly in landscape, and if I do flip the device, iOS knows that this app only supports landscape orientation, so it still shows it in landscape orientation even though we're holding the device and portrait orientation.